Megan Hostry and I'm a paddleboarder here in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I'm gonna go over a few things that you should consider when you're choosing a fin for flat water paddling. Because the fin is the one thing that's always in the water, it has the ability to really help you or really hurt you. So when you're thinking about fins, there's four parts that you should consider. The base, the tip, the leading edge, and the trailing edge. Both the base of the fin and the tip of the fin affect the fin's directional stability, meaning how easily the board's gonna move from side to side. The leading edge of the fin is the part of the fin that sees the water first and will determine if the fin will shed weeds and kelp, as well as how easily the board pivots. If you're looking for a fin that's gonna help you move quickly through the water, you wanna choose something with a low profile, something that doesn't run really deep in the water. You also wanna choose something that's really light and something that is going to shed weeds and kelp if that's something that's an issue in your area. If you're a strong paddler, but you sometimes have the tendency to move from side to side when you're paddling, you need to choose a fin that's gonna help keep you in a straight line. If you're looking for a fin that's gonna help you maintain directional control and increase the amount of strokes you can take on each side, you wanna choose a fin that has more surface area deeper in the water. More fin length deeper in the water isn't going to cut through the water quite as quickly as something with a shallower draft, but it's gonna help keep you tracking straight and apply power while maintaining direction. If you frequently find yourself in situations where you're surfing to and from shore, or if you have to do a buoy turn, or if you're planning on doing any course racing, you wanna choose a fin that's gonna give you the best of both worlds. You wanna choose something that's upright because a more upright fin is gonna give you a more responsive feel while on the wave face, and it's also gonna respond better while you're doing a buoy turn. A wider base is gonna help maintain stability while on the wave, and more surface area deeper in the water is gonna keep you tracking in that straight line when you're in flat water. Finally, if weeds and kelp are something that are an issue in your area, you wanna choose something with a little bit of rake so that it's gonna shed anything that comes away, your way with no problem. Choosing a fin is a highly personal decision. What works for one person isn't necessarily gonna work for somebody else. Some people are really strong paddlers and might need a fin that's gonna help them maintain a straight line, whereas people with a more graceful stroke might need a fin that moves more quickly through the water to help compensate for a lack of speed. But really, when it comes down to it, it's a good idea to experiment with several different types of fins to figure out what works for you and what doesn't. Everyone can benefit from having one or two quality fins to choose from, and you'll find that once you've found the right fin, there's a whole other world of paddling that opens up to you.